What's up guys and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. My name is Jacob Cerns and my question to you today is, are you missing the picture? Are you missing it? We're looking at John chapter 7 and Jesus is, um, well, Jesus' brothers and disciples are trying to convince him to go to Jerusalem. They're saying, look, there's going to be a lot of people there. It's an opportunity for people to see who you are. You can reveal yourself as the Messiah, as being this really awesome person. And his brothers go so far as to say, if you're doing the awesome things that you claim that you're doing, then why are you trying to keep it a secret, man? Huh? Why are you trying to keep it a secret? You should go to Jerusalem and you should show off your power, bro. If you got any power, that is because we don't really think you got any power. <laughs> so what they're really saying is they don't believe in Jesus. In fact, the Bible even says, because his brothers did not believe in him. They didn't believe. His own brothers. His brothers? Yes, his brothers. They grew up with him. They saw him on a daily basis. They saw the good things that he did as a child even. Of anybody, if anybody should believe in him, it's his brothers, right? Apparently not. Not even his brothers believe in him as Messiah. Tragic, pathetic. And yet that's what the Bible tells us in John 7, that's what was happening. Not even his brothers were believing in him. Guys, you can be around church. You can be around Jesus all the time. And yet you could still be in a situation where you're far away from him. His brothers were close to him in proximity physically, but spiritually they were far, far, far away from him. This happens to us today too. We can be close to Jesus in the terms of we're going to church, we're um, maybe going to a Bible study group, we're around spiritual things, we're around spiritual people, right? We're, we're getting around all the good stuff and it seems like we should know, and maybe we do know a lot about the Bible. Maybe we know a lot about Jesus, but we don't actually know Jesus. Maybe we're missing that relationship with him. Because that's what happens to the brothers here. They know exactly who Jesus is. In fact, he's their brother, right? So they know all about him, but they don't really understand his role in their lives as their savior, as their king, as their Messiah. And so they reject him, tragically. Don't miss the picture, guys. Don't miss it. Don't just be close to Jesus in proximity. Don't just be close to Jesus in, you know, physically around Jesus. Don't just know a lot about Jesus. Build up that relationship with Jesus. How do we build up a relationship with Jesus? We spend time with Him in the Bible. Communication is key for relationships. Prayer to Him, that's our communication. Trust is critical. Trust Jesus' power in your life. Loyalty is important in relationships. Don't worship other things, but worship Jesus alone. Build up that relationship with Jesus. And I promise, guys, I promise you're not gonna regret it. I promise it's gonna be an amazing thing and you're not gonna miss the picture that way. You'll see the big picture of who Jesus is and you'll believe in Jesus as he wants us to. And as John 3.16 tells us, we must if we wanna be saved. God bless you guys. Comment below. Tell me something that you struggled with with belief. Tell me something that you uh, that has maybe even been an issue in your relationship with Jesus. Tell me something that you know about Jesus maybe, or maybe that's something that you want to know more about, about Jesus. Maybe I'll make a video on that in the future. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Push that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe over here, watch another video here. Peace, love, and the joy of the Lord.